Hello there, welcome back to yet another bonus episode of Let's Play Battlefield 1942 and on today's it's Invasion of the Philippines. I'm going to be allied this time around. Now I like to start over at this flag, set up uh, some X-Packs in the capture radius, put one in each of the huts, put a couple around the flag. Now I could go back and put some more out there but I don't really feel like it. Uh, I like to start off putting some X-Packs there just in case the defenders that spawn over here don't manage to stop the Japanese who are going to attack from their destroyer to the northeast. And then I just take out one of the patrol boats and attack their destroyer with it. You can see the landing craft icon to the northeast of the island and unfortunately it looks like no other American defenders spawned over there. That could actually be a really big problem. If I'd known no one else was going to spawn over there, I would have set up more X-Packs. Well, there's at least one guy now. And just fire off the torpedoes. They're very slow torpedoes, so you got to really... See, the hit indicator should light up if I got a hit. I'm right, not sure if they actually hit that. Alright, the flag's going gray, so I'll detonate. And that didn't work. I guess they... Well, the engineer may have... There may have been a hostile engineer defusing it, or they just weren't in the blast radius. Alright, I'm gonna chase down there. Wow, that was a nice first shot there. Couldn't even repair the patrol boat. And judging from the other blue arrows in the middle of nowhere in the water, I'm guessing they got sunk as well. So they've only got one flag and I'm going to have to swim all the way over there. Enemy infantry spotted. Right now, with this perspective, I'm going to look at the map. The tickets are 262, 228. The Japanese have an uncapturable base, sort of, which is their destroyer. Uh, the problem is, we don't have any uncapturables, and since they do, they usually get to pick where they want to spawn from and fight, so they'll have an advantage over time. And what we normally do is we bleed out their tickets before they're able to take one flag, and we try to hold that advantage for the entire round. Sadly, the Japanese basically rolled right through and took a flag at the very beginning. Uh, if I'd known that was going to happen, I would have stayed there and tried to do a proper defense of that flag, but normally lots and lots of Americans spawn over here. So, the odds are actually, just from the very beginning of this map, we're probably going to lose. Uh, unless we can get a really strong advantage on kill-to-death ratio, which you never know whether or not that's going to happen. Most of the time the teams are even in skill. Maybe with this guy's help I'm going to be able to take this flag, but since I'm an engineer, even with the M1 Garand instead of the regular type of engineer rifle, it's going to be really tricky. Their whole team's going to be spawning over here. But I think if we're not successful in re-inflicting the ticket bleed, uh, I think the first couple minutes of this round may have been decisive. It's going to be an uphill battle. Man, that grenade actually did a lot more damage against me than I thought. I thought I'd gotten a pretty good amount of distance on him. Alright, that guy's a machine gunner. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic around here. Plus, we're not even neutralizing the flag yet. And that guy's dead. Um... Yeah, I'll spawn over here and take out one of the patrol boats, hopefully. But I think that guy's gonna... Let's see what he does. He's a sniper, I think. Alright, well, if he's gonna take out that patrol boat for a spin, I'm just gonna... kinda drive around and see what happens. Alright, well, there's gonna be some action on this side, it looks like, anyways. Yeah, there's the empty vehicle icon, as always, a very trusty friend. 
showing you exactly where the enemy invaders are coming from. And uh, this is another thing that's really unusual. The U.S. Marine Base is what that flag is called up there. That is probably the least active in terms of just overall action going on. It's probably the least active flag, not only on this map, but possibly in the entire game. You almost never see anything going on over there. And if you are, uh, if you're an American in a plane, and you're trying to find some flag to capture, just parachute over the U.S. Marine Base, and odds are it's going to be completely empty. It does spawn a tank, though, and I think that guy was able to slow me down just enough to rally the defenders. So this is going to be quite a challenge. Yeah, we've already got infantry coming out from there. The guy who I killed uh, is probably going to be... Oh, that was a close one. And there's an APC. Um, the guys that I've just killed, before I can even neutralize this flag, they're all going to be respawning in. And they're probably going to be anti-tanks and engineers. So, taking that flag with this tank is probably going to be impossible. See, there's the anti-tank soldier right on cue. And there's another one. Now, if I were a medic here, I could possibly uh, do some damage against him. And that was, I, I guess that was a rare um, kill from having a bazooka shot right into my face. I'm not sure that's even happened on this Let's Play of Battlefield 1942 to me before. If this were the other type of Jeep, you can stick X-Packs in the Jeep and uh, drive over and jump out at the last second and detonate them. But I believe the American version of the Jeep doesn't have sides high enough, so if you drive around and you get bumped around, uh, the X-Packs will just slide right out of the Jeep. And I have absolutely no idea how the U.S. Marine Base got taken back by our side. It uh, must have happened pretty soon after I got killed. But I did see a patrol boat on the western side, so possibly some Americans landed over there. Come on, back up. An x pack will do it now. He's smoking. There we go. You know, I actually didn't get the landmine quite far enough onto the tank. Although in real life you think of landmines being detonated by driving over them, if you put a landmine on top of a tank, it'll just sit there and as soon as the tank starts moving it'll detonate. Okay, that's another rare way to be killed. The APC gun. I had no idea someone was over there. And if you didn't recognize the little kill message, I think it was like M371A or something like that. That's the name of the APC's gun. And if you don't recognize the name, it's because the APC gun rarely gets any kills. Alright, I guess that guy was killed by somebody while I was dead. Stay tuned for part two.